2,562,143. This is the total number of W124 cars ever produced by Mercedes-Benz. The most popular model, the 230E seen here in this video, in the splendid period accurate willow green metallic, saw 374,422 units leaving the Mercedes-Benz factory. Welcome to h and Classics, what is most likely YouTube's Karma's Car Channel. Today, we will share our honest review of the esteemed Mercedes-Benz W124. It is one of our favorite Mercedes-Benz models to own and drive, and we hope this video would help you understand why. Please remember to leave a like if you enjoyed our review of the W124, and subscribe to our channel for more great videos to come. The W124 was not always known as the E-Class. It was simply known as a new generation of medium-sized saloons, according to brochures of the time. When launched in 1984, there were only four variations available. The 200, the 230E, the 260E, and the 300E. The E in the model nomenclature stood for fuel injection, or Einspritzanlage in German. Apologies to our German-speaking audience for butchering the pronunciation. We tried our very best. The W124 was only formally known as the E-Class from 1993, after Mercedes-Benz changed the nomenclature by having the prefix denoting the model, which applied to the C-Class and the E-Class of the era. Back then, times were simpler. Mercedes-Benz was not trying to fill every single niche in the market and did not have a gazillion models and the alphabet soup available for sale. If you walked into a Mercedes-Benz showroom in the 1980s, you only had the W201 190E compact sedan the W124 midsize executive sedan, the Sonderclass W126, the uber expensive Mercedes Benz SL R107, and not to forget G-Wagon W460, which was the SUV before SUVs were even a thing. The Mercedes Benz W124 could be summed up as the most perfect car of its time. It was the perfect balancing act combining rational thinking and emotional appeal in one neat package. This was the staple vehicle of the successful business person or corporate executive who valued understated luxury without practical compromise. Many would argue that the W124 was the best car that Mercedes-Benz ever made in its history to date. The W124 had rather reserved styling, penned by Joseph Kaltzendorfer, Peter Pfeiffer, and Bruno Sacco. There were no design flourishes that served no purpose. Every line exuded a no-nonsense Teutonic aura that meant pure business, functional almost to a fault. In the pursuit of aerodynamics, the W124 had its grille pulled back its bumpers integrated, and windshield monoblade wiper tucked neatly beneath the cowl of the hood. The W124 was not designed to turn heads, but rather to elicit a respectful nod to those who knew. The W124 excelled as an everyday car for work and leisure. The base models were affordable to acquire, yet boasted of leading passive safety systems that made the W124 one of the safest cars of its time. The options list was incredibly long, and it wasn't unusual to find a poverty spec 300E or a fully kitted out 230E, depending on what the discerning owner fancied at the time of placing the order. The W124 also excelled as a hardcore workhorse, clocking in millions of miles as dependable taxis the world over. 
it was almost as if the engineers Mercedes-Benz set out to design and build a car that would live forever. And we believe that they very well nearly succeeded in building a car that simply would not die. Nearly four decades after its launch in the 1980s, many of us recognize the W124 and fondly remember it as the car that our fathers or uncles drove back in the day. We would have sat in one as a child, endlessly entertained by the Mercedes-Benz hood ornament serving as crosshairs to aim at some imaginary target that needed elimination. Many of us look at the W124s today with fond memories and nostalgia, reliving the times before the internet became a thing and where most of the world only knew Apple as the fruit. We made a cinematic music video attempting to capture that nostalgia, and you may check out the video by clicking on the card on the top right corner of the screen or on the link in the description below. We have owned and restored this W124 for several years. For the sedans, these are great cars for beginners to enter the world of Mercedes-Benz classics mechanically simple cars to work on with few complex comfort features. Parts are widely available, and many independent workshops are familiar with this model. The W124s drive just as well as any modern car. Getting behind the wheel, it performs predictably on any road condition. While the W124s are easy to maintain, they are challenging to restore properly. While there are still many W124s on the road today, few are still in factory original specification. Just like how it is rare to find a bone stock Toyota Supra, it is difficult to find a W124 that has not been modified over the years, having been passed down from owner to owner. W124s are relatively affordable cars to maintain, but just like any other classic car, Restoration bills can pile up rapidly to the tune of multiples of the acquisition cost of the car. The oldest W124 would be three and a half decades old, and it is not a rare event to see W124s on the road still today. However, the same cannot be said of the W124's competitors back in the day, such as the BMW E34 or the Audi 100. Such is the proof of the legendary reliability, build quality, and superb engineering that went into making the W124s that just keep on going. Unfortunately, most W124s on the road today would have seen better days. Being cheap to acquire and affordable to maintain, it will not make economic sense to restore a W124 to near concourse condition. But then again, when has it ever made economic sense to spend money on cars? We did say earlier that the W124 was not designed to turn heads. Having said that, a pristine period correct W124 does make people do a double take on the roads today. It is like seeing a time capsule in front of your eyes, an anachronism in the 21st century. It is hard not to be impressed with the Mercedes-Benz W124 even today. It is well respected by car enthusiasts, even for those who are not car aficionados would send something different, something special, when they get behind the wheel of a Mercedes-Benz W124. Just opening and closing those heavy doors is an event by itself. The asymmetrical side mirrors make the car just a little bit quirkier. The narrow body of the car makes it easy to place on the road and park. Solid is a word often used to describe the W124, be it in terms of how it looks, how it is built, and how it drives on the road. The fact that the driving experience in the W124 is on par with and in some cases exceeding that of modern cars, goes to show how far ahead Mercedes-Benz was in the 1980s when they introduced this car to the world. There was simply no contest. 
We hope you enjoyed our review of the Mercedes-Benz W124. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more of our videos in the near future. Take care and we'll see you in our next video.